What is going on everybody? My name is Ethan. Welcome back to Hard Cap Games, a different type of episode here on the channel. People, today we are doing a fantasy football draft. Now, I love playing fantasy football. It dominates my mental health for a good solid couple months out of the year. Um, I only play in one league. I play in a league with my family. Um, it's you know, my grandfather, my mom, dad, my brother, my aunt, my uncle, two of my cousins, 10 people. Um, it's a two, uh, two player keeper league. Um, so it rolls over from year to year. We're just going to chill. We're just going to do a fantasy football draft. Draft starts in uh, 10 minutes, as you can see there. So I think the easiest thing to do is talk through my draft strategy going into this one. I am by no means a fantasy expert. I thought this would just be kind of fun um, sports content. I also haven't recorded anything in a hot minute. <laughs> it's I'm not going to lie. It's been... Uh, oh, today's the first. Last time I recorded something was probably two Mondays ago. 19th, maybe? That sounds about right. 19th. So it's been it's been a minute. I've been very busy. I just got back from my best friend's wedding, which was awesome. I've been gone all weekend. No, there will not be pictures because I am not going to do that. But draft starts exactly in 10 minutes. Let's go through the teams. Now, last year, my team, I drafted okay. And then my entire team got hurt within the first six weeks so i was pretty much out of it right away so i didn't make the playoffs i actually finished last in the league at like four and whatever i think we play i think we play 14 weeks and then 15 16 17 i'm the commissioner i should know these things didn't have a good year last year at all i was very frustrated but we pick in order of this so uh greedy gang is my team let's look at these teams real quick my keepers right now are Justin Jefferson and B. John Robinson, and we have the first overall pick. I am not hiding my hand at all. I already told my dad, don't even think about it. It's not gonna happen because I'm taking Amon Ross St. Brown. Someone didn't protect him, and he's just he's just him. I mean, I mean, I mean, he's there. I got he's my guy. I gotta take him, right? Um I projected uh, Jefferson. I'm not projecting Jefferson to have a good year at all this year, especially with Sam Darnold as his quarterback. Um, I can't believe they didn't figure out a better option for that team than Sam Darnold. And I'm, I'm sure JJ McCarthy was the plan for them, but like, oh my God, like what a, uh, whew, what a tough team to be. So Jefferson, B. John Robinson, first pick's going to be Amon Ra, and then it comes back Serpentine. Team number two. Uh, is my grandfather. He protected Mahomes and Ayuk, who's at, which is actually, I think, not a bad play considering what his team comp was. Um, if I had to guess, he'll just take best available, which will be probably Garrett Wilson, or maybe he'll die to go running back and he'll go Derrick Henry. I can't really tell what he's going to want to do. Um, he'll probably just go best available for round one. If I had to guess, he's going to go top running back available, which would be Derrick Henry for him. Scott's Tots, this is uh, my uncle. Uh, he's, he kept DK and CD Lamb. CD Lamb, elite, elite player. Um, DK Metcalf, still very, very good. So he's looking to take a running back round one, which would probably be Jameer Gibbs. Uh, Andrew is my cousin. Devontae Adams and Saquon Barkley, solid players, really solid players. Adams had a down year last year, right? I mean, it's hard to go much lower, but now your quarterback, now your quarterback's Gardner Minshew. So I don't really know. Or it's Aiden O'Connell. I don't like either one of them as starting quarterbacks. I actually really like Gardner Minshew, but not as a starter. Taylor Swift's boyfriend's team, that's my dad. Jamar Chase and Travis Etienne were his, his keepers. He decided not to keep Kelsey. Um, so Kelsey is somewhere out here. There he is, Travis Kelsey. Um, if he, I don't expect he's going to get all the way back around, but I'm assuming if he gets all the way back around, my dad's going to pick um, Travis Kelsey. But... I don't think that's going to happen because my mom picks immediately after him. Actually, well, actually, so my dad could take Kelsey here. My mom probably would take Kelsey otherwise. Debo and Puka, very good keepers for my mom. Don't, I'm, I'm busy. Don't do that. Now, these are the playoff teams right here from my dad onwards. Uh, Matt kept Tyree Kill and Rashad White. Rashad White's a fine running back. I wouldn't really want him to be my RB1, I don't think. Um, but I think the RBs are actually pretty shallow this year. Uh, I'm not too confident, really, any of them. 
my brother Griffin, who's been on the channel a bunch, kept A.J. Brown and Joe Mixon. Um, Joe Mixon in Houston's offense, I think, is definitely interesting. A.J. Brown is, of course, an elite receiver. My Auntie Jenna, she kept Christian McCaffrey, and then she didn't really like any of the other pieces, um, even though she came in second. But So she kept Curtis Samuel, um, which I'll, I'll go over my board in a second. And finally, uh, the champion was my cousin Adam last year, who kept Brees Hall and Jonathan Taylor. So he has an elite running back room. He has the wheel. He's going to take whatever the top two receivers are on the board at that point, which if we're scrolling down, this would be my second pick right here. So he's probably going to grab like, you know, Mike Evans, Chris Olave, or Cooper Cup might be, might be there or whatever. Uh, I'm hoping that either McBride or Andrews or Kittle are still on the board. I don't know if you can talk me into Pitts, but if it, if it comes down to Pitts or Engram, 100% Pitts, right? I don't like any of the tight ends past here. Maybe Brock Bowers, but I don't like the quarterback situation. Luke Musgrave is interesting to me. I think Frymouth is going to be terrible this year because I don't trust either of their quarterbacks. This, this is my board, though. Uh, Lamar is my top QB. Uh, I do have Stroud all the way up here. People are saying Stroud should be a little bit lower. I moved him higher because I trust him a little bit. Uh, Burrow, Hurts, Allen, and then I actually have Goff. I moved Goff pretty high up. I really trust Goff as a as a um, as a guy. Uh, Henry Gibbs, Kyron, Achan, Josh Jacobs. I'm if Jacobs is on the board when it comes back, I'm definitely gonna take Jacobs. Um, but I'm gonna take Amon or St. Brown. On Ross St. Brown first, and then. That should be an okay receiving core. I probably want to, when it comes back around, grab a tight end and a running back. And then I'm honestly I'm honestly fine if my quarterback is AR-15 or if it's Jordan Love, maybe. Jared Goff, I, I'm definitely kind of like sold on. Uh, defenses, who cares? Kickers, who really cares? Um, but I have them here anyways. I have their bye just so I don't like draft like five players who have the same bye week. Because when you do that, you might as well just give them the win for free, which I'm not huge fan of but uh draft is starting right now we have 10 seconds to go and with the first pick the greedy gang uh, i don't know if you can tell from from my picture um it's a, it's a it's gritty but i changed him to be purple like gritty like the flyers mascot and i put his mascot <laughs> i put jj's face over it i've been gritty gang for how long has JJ been in the league? That many years. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm Ross St. Brown. Give me the first overall pick here. We're going to do that and not have to think about it any further. I'm going to take my list over here and I'm going to color code this as things happen. But we have now grabbed uh, Amon Ross St. Brown. I'm very happy that he was there. I don't know who let him go, but I'm very happy that he's there. I mean, if, if you play, if you play through a torn... What was it a peck? Something like that. You des you deserve to be, <laughs> be the first peck. Um, I'm gonna s hide. No, I wanted to hide the cue. I didn't want to hide the other things. First one off the board is Garrett Wilson after me, uh, and then Andrew takes Jameer Gibbs. I do like the pick. Uh, drafted. Well, we're moving quick. We're moving quick. Oh my goodness. Jameer Gibbs. Marvin Harrison Jr. is a great pick from my dad. I'm mm, fantastic pick, dad. Fantastic. Uh, and my mom takes Travis Kelsey of no surprise to anybody that knows my mom. I always like doing fantasy drafts. I like doing the drafts, I think, more than I like doing the actual fantasy part. Pacheco. Ooh. All right. I had Pacheco a little bit further down on my board. Um, there goes Laporta. Griffin took Laporta. I, I was talking about taking Laporta. He didn't let me do it. I let, I had Laporta last year and I let him go because I, I, I thought that keeping Jefferson was more important. Um, looking back on it, if I get stuck with Trey McBride, I'm not going to be happy. Griffin left the draft. Okay. Drake London and Kyron Williams. Are off the board. Derrick Henry's still there, as far right. No, people. Who who took him? Do I just have him absurdly high? Who just drafted Derrick Henry? Oh, he went third. Why is it not showing up on the board? That's weird. 
Okay, so that's odd. Uh, but Derek Henry's off the board. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, ooh, Tyron Williams swinging to Josh Allen. Interesting. Yeah, so I'm 100% totally willing to let an entire wheel go by without taking a QB right now. Because like, if I get Tua, I think Tua's great. I think AR-15 is going to have a great year, as long as he doesn't get hurt. Mike Evans. Actually, you know what? I think if Lamar gets back to me, I have to take Lamar. Because he won't be there the next time he comes around. Because, like, oh, because, like, Waddle's here, too. Do I go zero? I mean, I have one RB right now. I don't I don't believe in James Cook as much as I believe in Josh Jacobs. I have Kenneth Walker lower on the list. I trust him more than I might trust James Cook. An interesting one that I'm kind of looking at for later might be Nick Chubb. He might come back in, like, week five. So maybe that's, like, a nice, like, little late-round pick that people aren't really thinking. If people have forgot about Nick Chubb. Because he's so far down, I mean, like, wh like where is he? Room four. Nick Chubb, he's all the way down there. He's so far down on the board. Like, that's, like, 10th round pick. Cup off the board. Okay. I actually didn't have Cup too crazy high. Because um, I thought with him and Puka are going to be splitting loads. Ooh, Jandre Swift. Okay. <sighs> like, why is Jalen Hurts higher than Lamar? I don't get it. Ah, oh, there goes Jacobs. That sucks. Chris Olave off the board. Malik Neighbors is interesting to me, too. Six and five, 12. Okay, so I don't want to take James Cook because then both of my starting running backs would be out on the same week. Uh, and that's pretty late in the year. If it was like week five, like whatever. But it's week 12 for Bijan and James Cook. So I'm not crazy about that. Jeffer okay, so what sucks, though, is Jefferson and Waddle and Smith and Amon Ross and Brown share by weeks. So that kind of sucks. Which means the next guy on my board would be Neighbors. Nico Collins and Stefan Diggs I have up on my board. But they're on the same team. And I think Diggs is going to ruin that squad. There goes James Cook. Alright, don't have to worry about that. So maybe I just... Maybe I grab Lamar and Kenneth Walker right now. Unless... No, because Papa's not going to take him. Papa's not going to take Lamar. Lamar's mine. Sick. Alright. So I get Lamar. There goes George Kittle. Okay. Wait. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? This is the year. This is the year. I'm putting a lot of faith into Bijan. I understand that. But we go Lamar. And then in the same move, we lock up his tight end. Is this the right move? I think it is. I think we do it. We double up. We double up. We get that. We get that. We get that. So now my tight end situation is pretty much all set. Um, I think I'll be 14 by. Oh, that sucks. Actually, that means they'll be rested for the playoffs, but that's kind of lame. Backup quarterbacks now for Lamar. Well, actually, what I want to do now uh, is look at the Ravens schedule. And I want to eliminate the teams that play Lamar from their schedule for defense. So week one is the Chiefs. There goes Raheem and Kenneth, okay. I love Kenny. I'm a Michigan State fan, so Kenny Walker is like my boy. It's hard to pass that up though when you're given that opportunity. Uh, Kansas City defense. I could just take Baltimore defense, that'd be kind of funny. Baltimore's defense is really good. Uh, that's Kansas City. I'm putting a lot of faith in the AFC North. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to take Pitts. I don't want to take Pittsburgh. Yeah, I don't want to take Cleveland. That's tough, actually. I, I took a quarterback in the toughest defensive division. That's kind of that was kind of stupid of me, actually. Looking back on it, Jalen Hurts is off the board. That's fine. I mean, I'm not going to get two top ten quarterbacks. I can't play them both. There's no point in doing it, so I don't have to think about it. Uh, Nico Collins off the board. So right now, when it looks like it, when it comes back, Aaron Jones, I'm very nervous about. He makes me incredibly nervous because I think that his hamstrings are just made of pulled pork. Whoa, this is a tough schedule for Lamar. Hold on, did I forget that this schedule is actually crazy? There goes DJ Moore and Kamara. I think my running back room is going to let me down again <laughs> this year. But, I mean, I was in a situation, right, where I'm going to get the top QB on the board, in my opinion. I'm going to get a top three tight end. There was Griffin's on the same. Griffin and I watched the same TikToks. Problem with neighbors is that he has Daniel Jones thrown to him, and Daniel Jones is up. Um, there goes, there goes Diggs. I'm, assu I'm assuming Waddle got picked, right? There's Pittman. 
I didn't see who picked him, but I'm assuming I'm assuming Waddle is gone. Who grabbed him? Oh yeah. Okay, so Lamar plays a crazy schedule. He plays Kansas City at Kansas City. He plays the, the Raiders. He plays the Cowboys. He plays the Bills. He plays the Bengals, of course. Um, Washington, who does not have a very good defense. Oh my God, I just totally missed. Yeah, it was a swing. Waddle into Pittman. That's a good. That's a good pairing. Washington, I don't have on my list of defenses to consider. Tampa, I didn't either. Cleveland again. Denver, I don't want to take Denver. There goes Goff, Stroud, and Trey McBride. So aunt, my auntie saw Jared Goff and went with her. And James Conner. So, if Monty's on the board, is Monty that bad of a pick? I don't, I don't think so. Monty's right here. I don't trust Ramondre. I don't trust any... I'm a New England Patriots fan. I do not trust Ramondre. Devonta Smith is still on the board. But I think I have to just lock up two running backs right now. There's Smith. Okay. Kincaid's off the board. And Devonta Smith is off the board. And Joe Burrow's off the board. Terry... I forgot about Terry McLaurin. Okay, so in this situation right here, I could go double RB. I think the receivers are a lot deeper than the running backs. So I could go David Montgomery, Najee Harris, maybe. People keep talking about Zamir White. I think that he's the Alexander Madison of this season. Singletary might not be horrible. They might be running the ball a lot. What's Montgomery? Montgomery's not RB1. Is the only thing I'm kind of hung up on with Montgomery. But I'm not really sold on any of these other guys. So I think I have to go Montgomery and then Najee. And I think I just have to lock that up. And then when it comes back around again, I grab my next receiver. So yeah, let's do this. And then we'll also take Najee. I don't love either either one of those picks. But the running backs, are su I think they're super, super shallow. And I'm not sold on it. But Lamar, Jeff Lamar, Jettis, Sun God... Bijan, Montgomery, Andrews, Najee isn't horrible. Depending on who Najee and Montgomery are playing in terms of defenses, I think that it could be fine for RB2. Bijan plays every week, except for week 12. Um, Denver's off the board for that. We're going kickers. Okay. <laughs> uh, there was Aaron Jones. I think Bill's going to be upset that Aaron Jones tears a hamstring or something. <laughs> um, Bengals, Steelers again. Chargers defense. Do I have the Chargers? No, I don't. Eagles. Eagles play Lamar. God, this is a tough schedule for him. There's Cal Pitts off the board. Uh, they have a bye. Play the Giants. I'm not concerned about Giants. I'm not even considering the Giants. Steelers, Texans, Browns. Okay, so can I show you what I just did? I just went through and I marked off all the defenses that Lamar has to play that I consider to be a you know top. How many is this? Twenty-five defense. I didn't include the bottom ones. Um, Detroit. I'm not even really considering though. I think Detroit's defense is kind of mid. I would. I would definitely rock any of these ones. I would rock them. Uh, I don't know if I'd rock these guys. This one is not going to be great either, in my opinion. But that's that's what I just did. Let me let me catch up on on the board because a lot of QBs. We just had a run on QBs. Um, Pitts off the board, and then it went AR, Jordan, Kyler, Evan Ingram. Two is still on the board, which is interesting for sure. Jaden Reed's the guy I'm definitely looking at. There was Tank Dell. I had Tank Dell pretty far down on my board. I think he's wide receiver three in that offense. Oh, other guys I'm looking at. J Dub out of Detroit. All the way down here. Oh, defenses are going. Okay. That's where we're at in this draft. So here's the thing is that a defense does not make or break a season. But not having a good defense can sink you. Eckler. Ooh. Okay. Eckler's off the board. I don't know if that's who I would have gone with from that backfield. Other receivers I'm, I'm looking at, I mean, Roma Dunze, I think, is interesting. Lad McConkey, though. I mean, how far down is, is Lad? I mean, he's 115 overall. 
all the way down. Is, is anyone really looking to take Lad McConkey? Also, Keon Coleman, also Jaden Reed as a wide receiver, too, in that Green Bay offense, I think is really interesting. Brian Thomas Jr. might not be the worst thing in the world in Jacksonville this year. Xavier Worthy in KC, though, I think is going to be a killer. So when it comes back around in a sec, we're going to take a look. So here's the thing, right? I could take Baltimore's defense. But then if I do that, I'm putting basically my entire faith in Baltimore. And if they don't have a good year, I mean, they're running up against a buzzsaw, right? Like, I, I just read off I mean, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Dallas, KC, Buffalo, Philly, Houston, Denver, Cincinnati. Not all of those are bangers. Denver, whatever. Um, those are good offenses, though, between you know, Cleveland, Dallas, obviously KC, Buffalo, Philly, Houston, Cincy. Fantastic offenses. Is Baltimore going to win more than, let's be generous and say 10 games? I don't know. Because, like, why is Nick Folk? Is he even playing? Is Nick Folk on an active roster? So he's on Tennessee. I guess. <laughs> Taking Rasheed Rice is risky. I don't think he's going to be disciplined, but on the off chance he is... I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have taken him. He was on my board, but I was kind of like, I don't think. I don't think so. You can't trick me like that. Amari Zay, Nick Folk, who I guess I should add to my board so that I, so that I know he went. All right. So so I'm up. Uh, we just saw Purdy. Oh, that sucks. The Jets went. I was really looking at the Jets. I, I was in, in like the last 30 seconds, really looking at the Jets. Um. Okay. Well, I think that means for defenses, I'm, I am stuck with Baltimore. And if people are taking defenses, I don't want to be stuck with Miami or Chicago at, as my number one defense that I, and that I can't play one week. That's the thing, right? Is I, I want to be able to play my defense every week. So maybe I do just take Baltimore's defense. Let me just mark off that two it just got drafted. Let's just right now, let's just grab Baltimore defense to start with. I think. Let's think about it for a sec. God, I hate, I hate this part of it. Um, let's give ourselves an extra minute. Let's just go Baltimore defense. Let's just take that. We're just locked in on Baltimore, I guess, this year. And that really sucks. I shouldn't have to take a defense this high, but considering the next highest defense for me is my defense nine at Miami, I'm not excited about that. I, I kind of really trust Xavier Worthy. I kind of do. Or, I don't... Okay, here's the thing. I don't think Xavier Worthy is going to make it back to me a second time. I think that Brock Bowers... 14 versus 10. Yeah, okay. I think if anyone's going to have a breakout year, it's going to be Brock Bowers. Do I double up on tight end run to, right away? I think... Oh, I think I do. Because either that or I grab... I hate all these runs. Like, I, I vehemently hate these running backs that are on the board. Yeah, you know, fine. Brock Bowers. Let's go with it. Let's take Brock Bowers. We, we now have two we have two tight ends. If Bowers ends up being great, he's great. If not, ninth round pick. So, out of 16. So, that does mean, however, that I have two top 10 tight ends, in my opinion. Um, and now we see guys like, you know, like, like T. Higgins just came off the board. George Pickens, I think George Pickens is. This might, this might not be a popular opinion. I think he's overrated. I think like the like the stats around him. I don't. I'm not ever blown away by him. Like from a game to game basis. I do need a backup QB as well. Would taking Jaden Daniels or Caleb Williams next time around? be interesting well so, no, no no i can't take Jaden daniels because he plays the ravens defense look at the ravens schedule again let me find a quarterback that now doesn't play the ravens all right let's look at this way i'm not taking mahomes he's already gone i'm not taking a uh garden Minshew or aiden o'connell dak i think dak's on the board that might not be the worst thing did purdy get taken did i see purdy go i did see purdy go okay who just went dallas defense okay Josh Allen's off the board. Joe Burrow's off the board. Jaden Daniels is here, but he'd be playing against my defense. And so that's, that's just counterproductive to my product. 
Uh, Tampa. I don't really want. I don't really want Baker. I could live with Baker as my backup, but I don't really want him. Uh, not taking Deshaun. He sucks. Uh, I'm not taking Bo Nix. Actually, taking a fly on Bo Nix isn't the worst thing I could do. Um, not taking you, Herbert. Is Herbert still on the board? Oh my god, he is. Huh, interesting. Ramondre's off the board, and KC defense is off the board. Oh, Xavier Worthy really went. Alright, that's the first one of a couple that I was kind of looking at. Devin Singletary's off the board. Uh, Calvin Ridley. So we're at the point in the draft now, right, where, where you're kind of taking players that you think might have a, a decent amount of upside. Like, Keenan Allen just went there, as well as Jake Ferguson, I didn't see that. But does Roma Dunze have more upside than Keenan Allen? That That's like a fight you have to have with yourself. I've been burned by Russ. Too. Russ was my QB the first four years I we were in this league. We've been in this league since, I think, I was a sophomore. Brandon Aubrey. So looking at this now, that would mean that the quarterbacks that we could really kind of take would be Rodgers, Cousins, Williams, Lawrence. Stafford, Geno, Minshew, Price. Because I... I don't want any of these guys. These guys are all bad. Aaron Rodgers is intriguing. Different bye week. Aaron Rodgers is a gunslinger. He's got some pieces around him. I wouldn't be entirely against taking Aaron Rodgers here. But he's kind of far down the board. So who knows? Now Kirk. Does Kirk have more in the tank than Aaron Rodgers? I don't know the answer to that. I think the answer is they're about the same. So I think the bold thing to do is take Caleb Williams when it comes back. There goes Christian Kirk. Now, do I need backups or do I need... I still kind of need another starter. Chase Brown. He's not even on my list. Oh, he's the Cincy guy. Oh, no. Okay, he is on my list. There was Lockett. I just... I had Lockett very far down on my board. So two years ago when Gino was on his Linsanity run, I had Gino on my, on my roster. He was my backup QB and he ended up taking over. As... Oh! Curses, Dad. Curses, curses, curses. So, we're Michigan State fans, right? Which means that we've hated Keon Coleman because he left. Although, now looking back on it, we realize, no, he was right. That was the right move. Blake Corum is not a starter. Gus Bus is not special, I don't think, anymore. Jerome Ford is only going to be useful for the first couple of weeks. Zeke isn't great. Tony Pollard had a terrible year last year and is now on a worse team than he was before. God, I really don't like any of these guys. Like, J.K. Dobbins and Gus Bus both went to Cleveland and they're both going to kind of suck. Tyler Algier. Yeah, you know, I think I've got three running backs. We played two. We played two. I don't need three. My, so I think I'm done with I think I'm done with running backs. I think I'm, I think I'm just done with running backs. I don't think I need any more. Chris Godwin? Fine. David Njoku? Fine. Tony Pollard? Absolutely fine. You can absolutely have Tony Pollard. And now, I just want to check. Samir so White did go. I didn't see to where, but he did. So, yeah, so right now, like, right, like, I need a backup quarterback. So, maybe I take a flyer on Caleb? Because, right, because, like, here's the thing, right? I have Lamar. So, if Caleb Williams is bad, who cares? I have Lamar. So, maybe I, so yeah, so maybe I go Caleb Williams here. I have the 100th pick in this draft. ADP is 108. Dak is on the board. I don't trust Dak at all with anything. Yeah, so maybe I go Caleb right now. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take him. And then I'm going to come over here. Ooh, can I get one more in without Lad McConkey? I might have said that too loud. I don't know if I can now. Jefferson, Amon Ra. I can take anyone from the NFC North and not have to con deal with my defense being a problem. So I could take Christian Watson. Or I could take Jaden Reed. I think Jane Reed's gonna have a lot of touchdowns this year. Former Michigan State guy. Yeah, you think you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna go Jaden Reed. Next time it comes around, I'm gonna grab my kicker. So probably Jake Elliott or Jason Sanders. Maybe Tyler Bass. And then I grab Lab McConkey. And then I just start filling it out with other players that I like. Maybe Adonai Mitchell. Maybe someone like him. Let's go Jaden Reed. Jaden Reed was awesome for me last year. He was awesome for me. Let's do it. Let's pull the trigger. I love Jaden Reed. I think he's a great receiver. It is at this point 9.30, which means I am late for Stardew Valley over on uh, Neko Lolita's channel. Uh, oh, you know what? While we're here, I, I should probably make a YouTube video. 
announcing like what the plan's gonna be for the next couple of months on the channel. Yeah, I should probably do that before I join them for Stardew. Alright, uh, update video is coming very soon regarding what the channel is going to look like for the next couple of months. There was Dalton Schultz. I'm actually alarmingly fine with my draft right now. Normally I walk out of drafts going, I don't know. Um, Jaden Reed as wide receiver three on my team, I'm not crazy about. That's kind of why the rest of this draft is just going to be wide receivers, I think. I'm not going to be too ambitious right now. Let's make a cue though. Jamison Williams, 100%. Hollywood Brown's on Casey, I forgot about that. Uh, Lad McConkey, 100%. Uh, Donnie Mitchell, 100%. Dontavian Wicks, who the heck is that? I think that everyone on New England's offense is going to be useless in fantasy, so I'm not even going to think about it. Jerry Judy in Cleveland. Who just got drafted? What, ju what just made noise? Hold on, I've got, I, need, I still need a kicker too. And I need four bench spots. So I probably need one more running back. All right, there was Javante and Fairbairn. What? What is making all of these notifications? Brian Robinson Jr. Uh, running backs, like Jalen Warren, Tajay Spears, Zach, Zach Moss, Jackson Smith and Jigba is off the board. That kind of sucks. But I do like him. No! That sucks. That goes job. He's thinking like me. It's good. A lot of times when I do drafts, I pick up a, a second defense in a completely different division yeah okay so all the guys that i, I was kind of like kind of eyeing like starting to fly nick chubb is gone for the first four weeks he had a devastatingly bad injury at the end of last year Dak, devastatingly horrible injury like the type that could be career ending he's coming back though so who knows there goes captain kirk off the board kirk cousins of the arizona falcons pittsburgh defense off the board now two i didn't mark off roma dunze who are they projecting is going to score the most amount of points? Zach Moss, Gus Edwards, Tajay Spears. My running backs right now are 12, 5, 9. Okay. So I can't, I'm not going to take Tajay or Gus or Zach. Oh, you. Uh, it's not Chuba Hubbard, is it? Oh, God. Um, my receivers are 6, 5, 10. Ladd and Jamison would be more weak fives. Christian Watson would be another 10. Ooh, I've kind of put myself into a weird hole here. The kind of the good players have the same buys as the players I already have, which means I'm in a hole on those weeks, right? Because if I have Bijan and Montgomery and there was Harrison Bucker. Yes, this is a weird position to be in, right? Because if you look at my team, my running back, my wide receivers are 6, 5, 10, and then my Running backs are 12, 5. Now I just I just put three receivers on my board who are 5, 5, 14. Jordan Addison, double up on the Minnesota. I think that's a terrible idea. Portland Sutton, I do not trust. I I do think Lad McConkey is good. I think he'll be really, really good. Um I think J I think he's gonna be wide receiver one in that offense, and I think that's why I'm gonna end up taking him. Now what do we do with the other one? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep Lad here. Uh, kickers, I guess. Dicker the kicker. So, yeah, let's go Dicker the kicker. And then, you know, let's just take... I I, th I think Lad McConkey's gonna be really good. I'm kind of throwing a lot of faith into some young guys here. But Jordan Addison... I'm, I'm, already, I'm already running a real big risk with having Jefferson, who doesn't have a quarterback. Sutton has Bo Nix. I don't believe in, in, in that... McConkey is with Herbert, who's the best ball distributor of any of the guys that are on at the top here, except for Hollywood Brown. But he's doubtful, and I don't, I don't ever deal with that. Gabe Davis in Jacksonville, Rashid Shahid, eh, whatever. Khalil Shakir, I don't think anyone would know who he is <laughs> if, if he wasn't on Buffalo. And I already have Amon Ross St. Brown. Doubling up on receivers, I don't love doing. I'll, al I'll always do QB with receiver. Or QB with tight end, but I'll never, I'll never go two of the same position, same team. So I think going Lad McConkey here is the play. I'm actually very, I didn't even mention, I'm very happy I just got Kicker the Decker. <laughs> Sorry, that's the wrong way around. Uh, Dicker the Kicker. I'm gonna go Lad McConkey. I could have gone Bass or I could have gone Moody or Youngway Koo, but I, I just like Cam Dicker, and he just got paid a ton of money. 
So I'm gonna put faith in that his front office knows what's up, and we're gonna rock. You know, there goes Cortland Sutton, Evan McPherson. So yeah, we're we're kind of at the point where I'm like I'm looking at my board, and all the guys that I was kind of interested in are, are, are kind of gone, right? Gus Edwards is still here for a running back, but he has the same bye week as David Montgomery, so I'm not too psyched on that. Yeah, my my, my three running backs, 12, 5, 9, 5, 5, 9, 12. So then it's Zeke or it's Blake Corum um, or Trey Benson or Zach Charbonnet are the guys I'm, I'd be, I would consider taking. Down here, Hollywood Brown, but he's injured. DeAndre Hopkins, uh, same bye week as, um, as Amon Ra. Uh, Khalil Shakir. I have no idea what to expect from Buffalo. Brandon Cooks might be okay. Um, let's see where is Cooks. Still in Dallas. Okay. Trevor Lawrence. It's not a bad, not a, not a bad pickup at all. Uh, especially this this late in the in the draft. Is Rogers still on the board? Yeah. So is Jaden Daniels and Justin Herbert. That's crazy. I would have taken either one of them, but they didn't fit my scheme. I, I hate the Taysom Hill gambit. <laughs> it makes me so mad. I know I, I could have just taken him, but Chicago defense off the board. Matthew Stafford off the board. Griffin ends up taking Stafford to be his backup, as a true Detroiter would do. Hawk. Oh. Here's the thing about Hawk. I don't think he's playing until week nine. Now at, at this point, you're just taking players to fill in. You have three more spots to fill. I get that, but Hawk's not playing for a while, as far as as far as I'm aware. I should be thinking about who I'm taking with my last three picks, though. I do think I need another running back. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. There goes Gus. Okay, Blake Corum. At this point, I think is the guy I'm leaning towards. So, funnily enough, actually, where's my boy? Will Lutz. Will Lutz. I think gets slighted a lot. I love Will Lutz as a kicker. I think he's. Seriously underrated as a kicker. Um, he's now in Denver. He's been kicking in a dome his entire career. He's now in Denver. And that's going to go either one of two ways. Either he's going to have a resurgence or he's going to be hot trash. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm not going to draft him. You don't take more than one kicker. You pick up a kicker on a bye week when someone's on IR. Uh, there goes Khalil Shakir and Philly D. Pat Fryermuth off the board. Do I have any text from Griffin mad that I took his pick? That normally happens. I have a Snapchat from Griffin. I thought, I thought it was going to be Griffin being like, you jerk. So my, my, I don't love putting my, my season in the hands of rookies. Because you never know how much they're actually going to get on the field. We saw that with Jameer Gibbs. Um, that Jameer didn't really get in until it was kind of late in the year. Blake Corum, I think might be the pick here. The Zeke just got off the board. I don't trust Zeke. He's kind of washed. Let's add Blake to our list. In a minute, we'll probably we're gonna take him. I think we're gonna take Blake Corum here because he he fits our he fits the kind of the scheme of what we're doing here a little bit. Bijan Montgomery, Najee, Blake Corum. It's kind of like the one you piece together. DeAndre Hopkins is on the board still. He's still an elite receiver, and if Levis steps forward like I'm hoping he's going to, I think he'll be really good. We're looking at the rest of the board here, right? No, so we're gonna take Blake Corum, um, which I'm not happy about because I'm a Michigan State fan. I hate Blake Corum. Now I have another minute and I have to figure this one out. There's no point in having more than two tight ends. It's just not a good idea. I already took a flyer on a rookie. I think Jaden Daniels is gonna be in the better of the rookies, in all in, in full earnesty, just because I think that he's just gonna his play style is gonna translate better. Unless Caleb comes out and is able to sling. If Caleb can sling, he's going to be awesome. That's kind of just where I stand on him. Darnell Mooney is in Atlanta now. Really? Xavier Leggett in Carolina might be interesting. A little something a little something down there in Carolina might be in, might be fun. No, I, I, think, I think play here. God, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I need two more players. I think I'm going to go... Oh, I don't love this. I do not love this play. I do not love this play. Where is he? Not even projected high. Grr! Uh, this, uh, this is a reach. No, Adani Mitchell. Adani Mitchell. Pull the trigger on it. I'm not, I'm not happy with the pick. Okay, so right now, 
We have to just find one more piece to fill in, but I want someone who's going to be able to contribute, right? You need someone who, when you play fantasy football, you need someone who can contribute to what you're doing. So Lamar is awesome. Caleb Williams, I think, is a nice piece that can slot in. He's also playing some really mediocre defenses in the NFC North. All of them kind of are middle of the pack, if not below. Uh, like the Lions, I think, finished at um, 16, and the Packers were like 17, and the Vikings were a little bit below that. Um, Denver defense, interesting. Yeah, that's smart. Herbert was going to get picked eventually. Um, so Daniels is going to get picked in this round. In this round. I'm going to guess it. There's Goddard. Once everyone already has their QB. The, the other thing is, right? The other thing is, if it comes back around and I look around and I see there's nothing good, but Jaden Daniels is still on the board, I'm taking Jaden Daniels. I have no reason not to. Except that he, he's going to sit on my bench and rot, basically. I know I'm doing a lot of time looking this way at this monitor less time at this one um i'm very satisfied with lamar caleb williams is here as well jefferson i don't think is gonna be wide receiver one that's why we got amon ra because I, I believe in him a little bit more i didn't even have romeo dubs on my board xavier Leggett. that's a good pick though i do like the, the xavier Leggett pick problem with the mitchell is i think he's wide receiver three on his team but i think he has a chance to move up to wide receiver one um, in terms of fan point, yeah, I mean, like, Jaden Daniels is the guy at the top here, right? Like, if he if he's still here, I'm going to take him. Having three QBs is always stupid. It's always stupid. It's never a good idea. But I'm at the point where I'm looking at this board. What's my bench look like? That's, I mean, it's a tight end, a QB, a wide receiver, a running back, a wide receiver. I mean, the other thing I can do is I can grab a defense. I can grab a defense. What's Detroit's schedule this year? Luke Musgrave. I mean, nothing really matters to me anymore as to who gets taken here. L.A., Tampa, Arizona, Seattle. All right. Dallas, Minnesota, Tennessee, Green Bay, Houston, Jacksonville, Indy, Chicago, Green Bay, Buffalo, Chicago, San Fran, Minnesota. So that's not an awesome end to the year between... You play good quarterbacks. That's the thing. Is that if you're the Lions, you're playing good quarterbacks. You're playing, you know, you're playing Stafford, Baker, Kyler, Geno. This is a tough game against Dallas. Ah, there we go. There goes Jaden Daniels. Th that's a win. That's a win. Pro flip a coin. Maybe a loss. Pro hopefully a win. Hopefully a win. Hopefully a win. Flip a coin. Which one they're going to win. They'll, 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 they'll split with Green Bay. They'll split with Green Bay. Jacoby Myers, Hollywood Brown are off the board. Um, San Fran is a coin flip. I mean, they lost because of crap last year. You know, I... If Detroit's defense play, this is the thing, right? If they play well, they'll be good. <laughs> it's a stupid way of looking at it, but it's but like I, if they don't play like booty, they have the advantage in half their games, at least. They're better than LA. They're better than Tampa. They're better than Arizona. They're better than Minnesota. They're better than Tennessee. You can split Green Bay. You're better than Jacksonville. You're better than Indy. You're probably better than Chicago. You're better than Minnesota again. You're better than Chicago. <laughs> like You should be winning a lot. You should be winning games. Detroit should be winning games, putting up big plays. Aiden Hutchinson's going to get sacks. I think we just go with Detroit. And that is the draft. Quarterback, Lamar Jackson. Wide receiver, Justin Jefferson. Amon Ross St. Brown. Jaden Reed. Lad McConkey, Adane Mitchell. I'm not too crazy about the receiving core outside of Amon Ra and Justin Jefferson. Jaden Reed, I think, is going to be serviceable. I think Lad McConkie is going to blossom. I think he's going to be really good. I don't know what to expect from Adane. It's kind of just a pick because I needed to make a pick, and I, I like taking flyers on rookies that I think can make impacts. Um, running backs are Bijan, David Montgomery, Najee Harris, and Blake Corum. Not the worst running back room. Bijan, I think, is going to be like one of the best players in fantasy this year. Montgomery, if he, if him and Gibbs split like they did last year, he'll still be really good. Uh, Montgomery got a ton of his points off touchdowns last year, so if they start giving more touchdowns to Gibbs, then he might be in trouble. Uh, that'd be a midseason trade. Uh, Najee, with a new offensive coordinator in Arthur Smith. I don't know what to expect because Arthur Smith's offenses were really good in Tennessee. Not so great later on when he got to 
Atlanta. I think he just didn't know how to be a head coach. I think he knew how to be. I think he knows how to be an offensive coordinator and an effective one at that, and one who likes to run the ball. And I think he just never figured it out as a head coach. I think his coordinators kind of let him down in Arizona, in Atlanta. But watching the Falcons play was like stabbing your eyes with hot rods. So I'm not too. I'm not, I don't know what to expect from Najee. Bowers could end up being something cool. If not, we have Mark Andrews. Caleb Williams is a serviceable guy. If Lamar goes down, I think he, I think that the Bears will be fine this year. Blake Corum as a backup running back, I'm not crazy about. Cam Dicker as a kicker is awesome. Baltimore defense is elite, but, and Detroit should be in should be in games. I'm sure that they're going to send me an email that says that this is an F draft. But yeah. Um, I think not taking Jane Daniels and taking Kelly Williams might come back to bite me in the butt. I think that he might have a really good year. Maybe not grabbing like a running back too early. I think maybe going Lamar into Mark Andrews might have been a miss. I think I could have grabbed Pitts in the next round. But let me know. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. Look out for, if it didn't already come out, look out for the update video as for what the channel's going like for the next couple of months um, because things have to change. Um, as I move into a new part of my life, but the channel's not going away as far as I'm aware. Things are just going to have to change. So watch out for that uh, video coming real soon. So with that being said, my name is Ethan's Hardcap Games. I'll see you guys in the next episode. A peace.